What's up Pyro crew, Mike here, and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about slats. Talking about slats. Uh, if you guys have been following the channel at all, you might notice um, my first few shows were just single position shows, and my second, third shows were three position shows. And the natural progression of things is to keep expanding. It never ends. So I am now doing my first five position show. Um, <clears throat> and the last show I did, I had uh, close proximity items that I was firing off in the front. And those went so well, I'm going to do them again uh, in this next show. And these are the silver explosions. Um, I also have some four meter stage jets as well uh, that I'll be firing in these positions. So what I want to do is um, maximize my firing system cues that I have available. Um, I've only got five items going off in each position. Really? Only five? So this is perfect. I've got uh, six items in, in bank A, six in B, and six in C. So this one module can serve three positions. Now, of course, the problem is, is these positions are 50 feet apart from each other, and I've got five of them. So I need this one module to serve three positions that are 50 feet apart from each other. So in order to do that, we use slats. Um, now, <clears throat> you can see I've got this labeled here, uh, prox position one, and this is gonna be channel 19, bank A. So I'm gonna set this module to channel 19, and this is bank A, B, and C. So you can see here I've got 19A, 19B, and 19C. I can only do these three on that one module. So I'm going to place this module in the center um, of these three position, and then I'm going to span a 50 feet cable um, from this connection to, oops, <laughs> this connection here. Um, and then I'm going to use this one to do a cable right to the position where it's at. And then this one here is going to go another 50 feet all the way to the right. So it's pretty simple in theory. Simple. So we'll set this one to channel 20, and then that will power bank A and B on this one, corresponding to A and B here. And bank C is not gonna be used. Um, so with the two 18M modules, we'll be able to fire the entire front positions. So what we do here is we take, um, you can see I label my wires as well, so it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, we split these apart fold these two um, into little loops. I don't know if you can see that. But the little loops allow you to get a better connection. Um, and you would do this with any slats um, or onboard terminals. Uh, simply put them in there, plug them in, give it a little tug to make sure it's on there good, and it is. And then once I've plugged in all five, I'll just put the uh, cover on the case, and this is sold separately, uh, but I recommend getting these as well. And uh, there you have it, Muxboard slats. Um, I know Muxboard allows you to put your own branding on there and get a different color if you want, um, so that's pretty cool. And you can see here I'm using the terminal style slats here because these come pre-matched from the factory with the terminal wires. and. Uh, you can see here, I've got the quick plug versions because my last show I only had three positions. So I only got three slats. Um, and I got three of these as well, but now I need five of these terminal styles for the terminal style uh, effects. But I'm gonna have to splice some quick plug uh, ends on these ones just because I don't have enough. So very shortly I'll be making another order. Um, and these are relatively affordable. Um, I, I can't remember the exact cost offhand, uh, but I will put that on the screen right here somewhere. Um, and there you have it. So next step is to go out in the field and show you guys how these uh, are all set up in the field. Okay, so you see this is Prox position two. Yep. So this is gonna be channel 19, bank B. Just go like that, bring those over there. Damn that CJ Jersey guy. And then, yeah. <laughs> CJ for the win! Yes. All right, so read it again. Prox 2, channel 19, bank B. 
So it's already wired up and ready to go. I just need to get a stake and then tape these on the stake. So these ones right here are the uh, jet fountains. So they just go. Prox 119A. Oh, not plugged in. Plugged in. And that's the beauty of slats. So in my most recent show, uh, I didn't get a chance to show you guys the other areas of setup uh, where I used these mux board quick splits. And basically anytime I need to fire more than one effect on a single cue, I use these bad boys. And my Lightbringer competition show in September had a 250 cue limit. But these guys allowed me to fire like 340 fireworks within that limit because many of them could be fired simultaneously. Uh, so this right here is a 4Q quick split, which I used like 50 of them in that show and about 30 of them in my most recent show. Um, just plug this end into your cue on the firing system and you can fire up to four effects at the same time. Now this one is a series board. They also provide parallel if that's your thing, uh, but I recommend series. And why that is, is probably gonna have to be another video, but uh, series just allows you to fire more matches. Um, if you're just doing these uh, small four quick splits, then yeah, sure, parallel is fine. Um, but if you need more than that, uh, check out these guys. So this is the quick split 12 and you can fire up to 12 effects at the same time with this bad boy. Um, now you gotta keep in mind the firing system battery voltage is gonna determine how much current flows to your matches and through these. Um, so this has really no control over that aspect of it. So um, in this case, I'm using the LiPo 14.8 uh, uh, volts, I believe it is. And according to Cobra's website, I can fire up to seven E matches in series on a single cue. Um, we're going to obviously push that to the limit. What you see here is I have 12 E matches connected to the Mux board uh, Quick Split 12. And we're just going to try to push it today and see if we can't fire all those. All of them! If anything, one may not fire, maybe two, but I'm predicting that we're going to have success. Um, also, your, your battery charge is going to affect the amount of voltage you have. So I've got this fully charged. So with the help of the Muxboard uh, 12 quick split here, we're going we're gonna to test that out. And we can see I have continuity showing. So all matches should be good to go. So I'm going to test these out in three, two, one. Uh, looks like... Um, we fired 10 of them uh, at the same time. So that's actually not, not bad, considering uh, seven was the limit. Um, but the resistance on the E-matches um, can vary. And if you go to the manufacturer and you look at the specifications, um, they'll even tell you um, that there's variable resistance on the matches. So they definitely have a baseline voltage that they want um, uh, pushing that current through. So. Um, I think it's safe to say that Cobra's website is correct and that we want to use um, no more than seven matches uh, to make sure they go off. But if you want to push it to eight or nine, if you have no choice, go for it. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you later.